Delight. I'm a light painter from France, living in New York, and today I'm going to talk to you about light calligraphy. Hey Dee, can you tell us a little bit about your light calligraphy tools? Sure. So the first one I'm using when I'm doing light calligraphy is this one. The first one, this is a 60 lead work lamp that you can find in any hardware store, just like Lowe's or Home Depot. I added black tape. The reason is pretty simple. Uh, when I looked online for uh, light calligraphy tools, like I, I couldn't find any. So I looked at the, the actual tool that people are using to do calligraphy. And I wondered that there was like, they all have a thin and a thick um, side. So I usually modify all my tools to look like a real calligraphy pen. So that's why I add black tape here. What I do is that I use filter here. Um, I just put it on the lamp like this. I build this myself. And I use this uh, rubber band here to keep still. The second lamp I'm using is like, is this very uh, old fashioned lamp. I call it the grandpa lamp because my grandfather used to use this one. Um, so it's very handy. It has a push button on the side here. And uh, same thing that the other lamp, I'm using tape to do like a calligraphy pen. Let's go through the basics. So Arabic calligraphy is all of that thick to thin tropes, which is pretty hard to say for a French person. So I'm just going to go from thick to line. It's going to be easier for me to say and you might be able to understand it better because my accent is terrible. Um, so the first movement that I, you can practice is actually going from a thick line here to a line this way, just using your arm like this. So what you notice is that my wrist is completely locked. Only my arm moves. Um, so I can do exactly the same thing with this lamp here, going from thick to line. The second movement you can practice is uh, what I call the wave. Um, so the wave is going from your hip to your shoulder. Um, so what you want to start is do like a little line, small curve, going thick, small curve, and then finishing as it started by line. Again, line, small curve, thick, small curve, line. And it's gonna give you a nice shape, very uh, Arabic calligraphy inspired. Another kind of thick to line is the what I call the upside down coma. So basically I start from here, I just do a thick, to a line. So again, my wrist is completely locked, only my arm moves. I'm just going from thick to line here. A nice variation of the wave is actually to do two waves on the top of each other. The first one, I know that I'm going from, still going from my hip to my shoulder. So I'm going to do it here. First one. Then I know because I use my body as a reference that my wave is going to be here, so I know that I can do another one here using my body as a reference. So first one here, then I know that my second wave is going to start approximately here, so I just go from here and do another one. And it's going to give you a nice variation with the, the light calligraphy. What I can do now is mix both of those lamps and uh, still using my body as a reference. So, you can start with a, a nice wave, like this. And because you use your body as a reference, you know that your wave is actually here. So you can have more calligraphy here and here, you know that you have room to do it. So, starting a wave, then I can add more calligraphy here, because I know there's room, and here. The most important part to me is uh, it's just gonna sound silly, but it's to practice. Not because you wanna be uh, like the best light painter in the world, the best calligraphist in the world, just because you wanna teach your body to reproduce those movements. Those movements, like I said uh, at the beginning, are graceful and fluid. So you want your body to get used to do those movements. So you wanna practice to have like that movement memory and be able to reproduce that when you're outside and you're actually doing light calligraphy. Delight, I had a question for you. I was wondering, do you practice the calligraphy on paper before going on site? So, no. <laughs> I'm, a bad, I'm a, bad, a very bad at drawings. Um, 
what I do usually is that I look online for uh, calligraphic shapes. I practice, like I said, I practice a lot to have my body used to reproduce a thing. Alright, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. You don't hesitate to send your picture uh, on my Instagram account at Delight Painting. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you.